All right, so today we are going to look at a Memory Palace based painting patch that utilizes a couple of Pulp Logic comparators and something to mix those signals. So here you can see we are on paint mode, RGB input, and alpha and alpha. So we took a horizontal and vertical ramp from Visual Cortex and have put them into these molts and labeled them. We took an output from those and they're going to go to the inputs of the Pulp Logic comparators. And we're going to go ahead and take the outputs and those are going to go into a mixer. All right, so now we're going to take the mix output and it's going to go into a molt. Those go to the A&R inputs of the Memory Palace. Um, it's on freeze right now, so it is not actually painting. You're just seeing like the cursor, essentially. Uh, so if you don't have the auxiliary control set, then you're not going to see anything. If it goes too high up, then you're just going to end up seeing the pieces of your actual uh, rectangle. Uh, you need to make sure that your inputs are set correctly over here or else you'll end up seeing that same thing. So we'll pull that back down so we just see that kind of like middle section. There we go. You can make it quite a bit smaller and bigger. So that is the basis for creating a really simple shape with some cheap comparators. Uh, and some kind of mixer. All right, so if you don't want to use the quad attenuator, you can do something like this and set up your bridge. So your uh, X and Y comparators coming into the A and B inputs of the fader on a bridge, and then use whatever CV source into your VC input, right? And your output is doing that same thing that the mix was. It's going to a molt, goes to the A and R inputs on the memory palace. Got to make sure to reset your auxiliary input because it's going to be different than it was for the mixer. And then with this, you're just actually going through and finding that little sweet spot where not, they're not both showing through. You can also use something like a board brain Splix to mix between the X and Y comparator outputs. Uh, either going to your molt or going to a two to one switch. So we took our outputs out of bridge and put them back over to the quad attenuator. Mix output is going into one side of a switch. The other side of the switch is going to be an H plus V ramp coming from the visual cortex. So now we are gonna send the switch's output into a doorway. into the doorway, tucked underneath, and now we want the doorway to be the output, which is already plugged into the molts and going to the AR inputs of the memory palace. Okay, so now we've got our, we're currently on the side that we set up for the rectangle generator here, right? Our threshold, if we bump it up all the way, we're going to see what we want to see. Uh, if we bring the gain down, we're going to see some different things. This, I believe, needs to be set a little differently. There. So, we can still get some interesting different shapes other than just the rectangle if we want. It's not perfect. As you can see, there's a little bit of noise in there, and sometimes it's worse than others, and for me, it seems like right now it's being a little bit extra bad. Of course. So now, we're going to flip over to the other side. Uh, that'll be that H plus V ramp. Right now, it's got to be extra small. Yeah, there we go. So, now we've got it set for a circle if you want it going for your, like, triangle or your diamond, you go here, you just have to set your different, change your settings around on the actual ramp generator section of the visual cortex and you can get your triangles, circles, half circles, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got your doorway control over those. So now the fun part, press clear. You're gonna start drawing to the screen. 
If you want to clear what's on the screen, let's press clear again. Clears everything, right? If you want to, we're going to, let's say, turn this loop off. Go into the middle, turn the smoothing down so we get our speed back. There we go. Let's clear everything, okay? So we can draw. This is good, we like this. Let's just pull it down and clear it so nothing's on the screen. And then we want to freeze it. Okay? So now we're back to our little like cursor. So if you just want to draw on a certain section, you press clear and freeze. I'll get, get the stylus out because now we're really painting with the Escher, Escher sketch. You need a stylus to paint. Press clear, freeze, move it to your other section, clear, freeze. Obviously, changing the shapes and sizes and all that, that's really where you want to be for this kind of technique, and that's what I did for my uh, ha Halloween entry. But, you can get the idea. Switching between freezing and clearing allows you... to draw onto different parts of the canvas without having to draw on everything. All right, so here you see the RGB input coming from the input encoder from a visual cortex. Uh, we're doing some colorization. The A input is still coming from the shape generator that we made. Um, another fun thing to do would be to take the output of visual cortex and take it back into the memory palace instead of the input encoder so that that way you're getting some feedback into there. Uh, essentially what's happening is the visual cortex's output is going into the input encoder and we are seeing that in the memory palace's input. So it's kind of painting what it sees of itself 